Miami is, at first light, a series of islands, as far apart in spirit as they are close in blocks. Most Notre Dame and Alabama fans in town for the national championship game woke up today in the most famous of those islands, South Beach, stepping into a dreamscape of pastel deco and tireless house music, an unsunce that accompanies even breakfast, tight bodies and palm trees, and $300,000 cars, Crockett and Tubbs. This is only one face of Miami. Miami also looks like this. Miami is men, women, and children from nearly every country on earth, rich and poor, Democrat and Republican, straight and gay. People come here searching for safe harbor or acceptance, for a brighter future or freedom from their past. It might seem foreign, exotic, but really it's the most American of cities, a place built by immigrants. Their energy fuels the art, the fashion, the dominoes on Calle Ocho, the neon on Ocean Drive, and the football stadium north of town. That's what we're here for, a football game, an important one, between an Alabama team that has returned itself to past glory and a Notre Dame team looking to do the same thing. With the stadium close to exactly nothing, it's easy to think that this game has nothing to do with all those other islands of Miami. And yet there's something perfect about these two teams facing each other here in this strange archipelago. And Peretta intercepted by Teague. George Teague to the end zone, touchdown. This is where Notre Dame should play Alabama. Miami, after all, is a place where people come to find something they've lost where they cling tight to something they found.